Well, turning now to another tweet by the U.S. president that's sounding alarm bells. This time, a grave warning that he has sent to Iran. Laura McQuillan is following that story for us. So, Laura, what is the president saying? Really, this looks like a continuation of the mixed messages we've been seeing from Donald Trump on Iran in recent days, Natasha. He's been saying recently that he doesn't want a war. He hopes there won't be a war. But now this tweet which suggests he will have one if he needs to. He says, if Iran wants to fight, that will be the official end of Iran. Never threaten the United States again. And this came just hours after a rocket was fired into Baghdad's green zone, allegedly by Iranian-backed militants in Iraq. So that may have prompted this tweet, but there's a lot of speculation around exactly what is going on with these spike in tensions currently with Iran. The White House, of course, ordering warships and bombers to the region earlier this month. They're carrying out exercises in the Arabian Sea and the speculation is that all of this is aimed at getting Iran back to the negotiating table potentially so Donald Trump can then claim credit for getting a new nuclear deal with Iran and in fact he revealed some of his cards in an interview with Fox News when asked about the current situation with Iran he brought up North Korea and has passed tough talk and threats before that summit that he got with Chairman Kim here's how he phrased it I'm not somebody that wants to go into war because war hurts economies, war kills people, most importantly, by far most importantly. I think that if you look, when I went to North Korea, there were nuclear tests all the time, there were missiles going up all the time. We had a very rough time, then we got along. We'll see what happens right now. And since that tweet from Donald Trump, we've actually seen some reaction this morning from Iran's foreign minister, Natasha. And in that, he says that Donald Trump, goaded by his B team, hopes to achieve what Alexander Genghis and other aggressors failed to do. Iranians have stood tall for millennia while aggressors all gone. He says economic terrorism and genocidal taunts won't, quote, end Iran. He says, never threaten an Iranian, try respect, it works. So it appears now that Iran is trying to call Trump's bluff on exactly whatever it is that's motivating him at this point in time.